John, how are you, how is it that you're able to get so many rebounds consistently over and over and over again? I don't know. Sometimes they just come to me. I don't really know how to describe that, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of sometimes know where the ball is going to go. If it's short, whoever's shooting it, you kind of have tendencies for that guy. If he shoots it long, short, whatever. So you kind of just build it off that. I got two. First one, how much do you credit like working on your body? Darko said you've really been working on your body. How much has that helped with the rebounding? Um, I mean, I always stay in the weight room. I've um, been trying to do lower body a lot, just trying to get stronger um, so I can box out and get the rebound instead of trying to jump over somebody or something like that. So, yeah, just try to stay in the weight room year-round. And what does it mean to you when you're doing the post-game interview like that and you have all of your teammates sort of mob you from behind? Uh, uh, you know, what does that say about this team and, and what does that mean to you personally? Um, I mean, it's awesome. We're a close-knit group. Um, it's really fun playing with everybody. Um, we just get along really well on and off the court, and it's, it's a great time. I know you just explained the rebounding a little bit, but I want to go a little bit deeper there with you just in terms of, I mean, you're playing at the three, and you're coming crashing in, getting a lot of these rebounds from the three-point line or, or, you know, from the mid-range area. Just when you see a shot go up, just explain the process that you go through to beat guys to the rim or to just out-jump guys who are six nine and 6'10". Um, I mean, it kind of just depends. Like, if it's a three-point shot, usually long shot, long rebound. So, and they shot a lot of threes. So, kind of just go off that, see if the long rebounds. Um, yeah, I don't really got much for you on that one. Sorry. I don't know. The ball just kind of ends up on, in my hands. Uh, John, just since you were uh, with the hustle on a two-way, you've been talking about, you know, not just working on your three-point shot in terms of percentages, but just letting it fly more often. And this year... I, I don't know if you saw Skip Bayless say this on the Undisputed, but you're leading the league in three-point percentage. Like, well, what does it mean to you to really just see that work materialize into this recent stretch of shooting that you've had? Um, I mean, I've been just staying in the gym. Uh, I just trust the process, really. Um, I, I started out the season not shooting that great. I uh, just stayed in the gym and just got as many threes up as I could. Uh, from your perspective, John, just what's the biggest difference between uh, with Ja from last year to this season? Man, yeah, I mean, he's shooting the three ball a lot better too. Um, but he's—I mean—he's a great athlete. Um, he honestly gets us going. Um, so I mean, he's really good at basketball. Um, if, he, if he didn't know that, um, but yeah, I mean, he just gets us going. Just gets stops on defense and offense in transition. He's remarkable. So, yeah. John, there is no nickname for this bench. You are leader of this team. You have to come up with a nickname for this bench. <laughs> You know, Brandon say he's going to work on it, so you need a nickname because you guys consistently produce game in and game out. So it's your job to come up with a nickname for this bench. Um, can I hit the – I'll, I'll uh, think about it and get back to you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. John, what did you see there, you know, in the first quarter, Timberwolves were knocking down shots. Anthony Edwards went off in that first half. What changed for you guys in that third quarter? Um, I mean, we just got a couple more stops than we did in the first half. Um, we just zoned in on the uh, defensive end, uh, just try to get stops and stops to make us go on runs on the offensive end. Um, like I said, we have John Morant, greatest, really good uh, offensive player in transition. So, Towards the end of the game, you and Brandon Clark went up for the rebound. <laughs> did you want that 18th rebound? Did you just like, you know what, Brandon, you can have this one. Um, I mean, I tried ripping it out of his hands too, uh, but he got it. I mean, he might be a little stronger than me. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we both went for it. But just try to get the offensive rebound, get an extra possession, kind of got us the vic victory after that. Thank you.